Welcome, this is where nerds come to learn things. If it's your first time here, click on the subscribe button and on the bell icon to get notifications about new videos. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoy it. Right, let's see what's in the package. Thanks to everyone who supports me on Patreon and stuff like that too. I need to mention that every once, every once in a while. So it's people that support me via Patreon or give me, send donations helps me to buy things like this. Right, this is a rather large amount of heat shrink tubing. 4.8mm, uh, 100 meters. So you could say it's a lifetime supply. I mean, you can see the dimensions in there. That's a size which I'll use a bit of. It's good for doing like spade terminals and things like that. So uh, I won't have to worry about buying any more of that ever again. Yay. You may notice that my desk is a bit wet because the mail was sitting outside and it got a bit wet. So hopefully it's all okay. You got ventilation holes in them, it's probably not so good though. Let's see what's in here. See the water coming off it. Okay, the battery holders. These are AA battery holders. That's... Is that double AA? Or double triple A? I can't see. I think it must be triple A. It's the same as those. So we have triple A's. And these AA's here. Links for these will be down in the description as well. I got these from Banggood. So um, you better get them from there too. I think I got them from Banggood. Anyway, there'll be links down below for these in the descriptions. Click on the Show More tab and you'll see those there. Don't go yet, go at the end of the video, all right? Because I want you to watch the whole video because otherwise it affects my stats. So I'll look at them at the end. Okay, so yeah, those are AAs definitely. And those are AAs as well, just obviously just in format. So, yeah, that's alright. Different holders. This one allows you to actually screw it down to some surface or mount it because it's got those two holes there. This one doesn't have the option. So it depends on what you, how you want to use it, really. I've got more coming as well. I've got some triple pack, yeah, triple battery buns. Um, I think I ordered some more like this as well. This is the 18650, which is actually a charger. This is 3.7 volts. So this is already really close to what I need. You know, it might work. I might just be able to use this with this power supply here. But anyway, I'm, I'm getting sidetracked. I'll be on about that. We'll go to something else. This is mailbag. Mailbag. Project, something else. That's another video. There'll be a playlist somewhere for that. Go and look at that. Right, let's see what's in here. Now this is printed papers on here and I've, I've got an idea what it is. It could be a few things. So we'll see what that turns out being. And you can see the water coming off this as well, it's just saturated. But uh, hopefully it hasn't got inside. Anyway, you can see on here, it's a uh, Marconi digital frequency meter, the 2435. Now, I don't own one of these yet, but there's a reason I've got this. It's because I've purchased one, although it hasn't been posted yet. <laughs> so it better actually turn up. Yeah, so as I was saying before, I got interrupted by the door opening. Um, I have purchased one of these, but it hasn't arrived yet because um, it hasn't actually been posted yet. So, anyway, so I, I managed to actually source both of these manuals as two separate purchases from the same supplier in the UK. Same, they, they had both items listed, I managed to combine the postage on them. So, that obviously, this got tucked in there, wasn't much extra effort for them, which is good. Saved me some money as well. This is dated 1979, I saw just then. St. Albans. I've been to St Albans. Anyway, um, yeah, you go December '79, just there, and that's what the actual unit looks like. So I thought, oh, I'll get one. 
another nice little project to do. In theory, I mean, it's supposed to do two gigahertz as well, so it could well be um, very helpful. I think the one I purchased has a fault. I think it did, from memory, which means it's going to be a project as well. So if you're interested in seeing that, make sure you subscribe and click the bell icon to get notifications, because once it arrives, I'll be doing a video on it. And this is just a like, general operation manual, that sort of thing. Circuit diagram, that's handy. There we go. Other way up. There you go. Circuit diagram in case you need to see it. Hope you can read it. Nice still. So if you need that circuit diagram, there you go. Well, it's a block diagram. Sorry, I'll get it right when I block diagram. Um, circuit diagram, probably here too. So I'll tuck that back in there. Let's look at the actual. Other manual, so that's just, that's just the operating manual, and this is the service manual, so it should actually be decent information in here. Covers right up to 1989. Now, I'm not sure um, what year the one is that I've purchased. I guess I'll find out when it turns up. I haven't actually looked, I don't really care that much to be honest. But, um, so there you go, small block diagram stuff, which I think it's the same diagrams in the manual there. Another little block there, so timing diagrams, it's all very nice. I'll try and find a circuit diagram so I can show you that. I think it's in here. Layouts, alignment information and testing. So whatever's wrong with it, hopefully I can narrow it down and, and test it with this. Placeable parts list. Maybe there's something in here you need and you can see it with the film. Maybe you can see it in the video, so you're buying a manual, I don't know. Might help someone. I think I missed the page, but yeah, it's probably done now. Right. And section seven, service diagrams. So there we go, here's the diagrams. Okay, hopefully that's big enough for you. I think there are electronic versions of this anyway. There's layout diagram on that side. Here's a circuit diagram. I doubt you can read that. But. And another layout there. And another circuit diagram. So control board A2, this one. So it looks like it's all fairly standard parts. The 74LS series parts there. 4040 there. 4516. 4013. So it all looks like it's mostly standard parts. There's a control I see here. So that's obviously the, the main important one, which is hopefully not damaged. But display board. Nothing too exciting there. Yeah, so that's that. I don't know. So I'll be doing a video on that once it arrives, if it arrives. I mean, so I purchased it about two weeks ago. Now I'm still waiting for them to post it. This has already arrived. I mean, come on. Let's see what we've got. Wow, look at the state of them. They're not new. LM two nine two five T. A whole bunch of used parts desoldered corroded yeah okay that's not what I was expecting picture said new I've got another one here I bet these are the same Look like exactly the same packaging from the same person so it makes me wonder ordered a couple of different lots from China you see you can see it also desoldered and used uh, well I need one of these for the Agilent um, power supply um, but yeah certainly not the best quality parts might have to hook some up externally and do some tests to make sure it actually work before doing it yeah um, used parts awesome but hey these are obsolete parts you can't get these anymore so the fact that i can get them at all i suppose is a good thing but 
you know, they're used parts, they may or may not be alright. I suppose I should test them. Alright, so I've got a uh, mail bag item here, see what's in it. I think I've got an idea what it is, but I never quite know. MacBook. So it's a thirteen inch. Uh, I'm not sure which version it is. Uh, um, tape and stuff on the bottom. You know, it's an AT1278 13 inch, and um, this was purchased as a 40 unit, I believe. Let's have a look. Screen doesn't look broken, bottom case is off. It's okay, no screws in it. A few little scratches on the top. Have a look, a few things on there, which looks like they've been bent outwards, which is strange. Uh, maybe they pushed in and someone's pushing back out again. Uh, let's have a look. No hard drive, as you expect, it's quite often the case. If you do ever sell a MacBook or any Apple computer with a hard drive in it, don't assume just because you or account is password protected that it's safe. All right, always either remove the hard drive or wipe it and reinstall a clean system. All right. Always do that because even if you want an account on there, that's not secure because there's actually ways of circumventing the password. All right? Um, yeah, it's it's documented. You can do it. I've done it several times myself to get into things to, just to see what's there before I wipe it in case any interesting program stuff like that. All right? But don't you know? It's just be careful about your privacy and stuff. So there's some water water damage here or liquid damage. A little bit over here, a bit there. Um, it's not looking too bad actually. There's a little bit around here, around that chip there, which I think might be SMC. I'm not sure. Um, so obviously this is going to be a bit of a clean up. I doubt this will power up and turn on. I highly doubt it. Um, we shall try. We'll plug power in and see what happens. But I don't think it's going to go somewhere. Let's unplug the battery and get an appropriate charger. This is the 60, was it 65 watt? 60 watt. So, no light on the charger, no fan. So, yep, yeah, that's pretty dead alright. That's okay, that's what I bought it for. Right, let's see what's in this one. So these are logic boards. Now let's just get one of these out. That's got some wicked leg water damage on that one. Um, so these are logic boards on iPhones. Now different ones. I've got three different sites, three different sets. I'm not quite sure which ones are which. I'll have to um, look at that. But um, this is an iPhone 4, 4S and 5S, I think it might be something like that. But um, they've got holes drilled through them, obviously because it's the memory IC. So they drill through that to destroy the memory, so there's no user data on the devices, on those logic boards. Um, absolutely fine. It's a shame they have to go right through the bloody ball and um, 
the shorter processor as well because the processor could be handy. But anyway, um, let's try and get one of these off and have a closer look at it. So it's got the connectors on there, it's got liquid damage. But the reason I've got these is really for practicing on. Um, there's some parts on these which may be helpful. I think the focus is gone. All right. Um, but it's really for me to practice desoldering and stuff on because this is really small stuff. So if I can work on these, it'd be good. You know, I also want to practice my soldering skills on some boards which don't matter. Uh, you know, taking parts off, putting them back on again, that sort of thing. Because I'd rather do it on parts which don't matter than things which do matter. All right. I don't want to be practicing on that. So because I've got this really small micro soldering, so I'm, I'm I'm very new to. Um, I want to practice that a lot more. Right, so I've done a little bit of work on MacBooks already, and I've been sort of stumbling through that. It's not been too bad. I've made a couple of mistakes, um, but um, things which are going to cost you money to fix them. But you know, I have to buy parts to fix them. But uh, that's okay. Um, that's part of the learning process. But the idea of getting these is so I can um, practice on stuff which doesn't matter and try and refine my skills somewhat because I certainly need to do that when you're doing stuff which is so small you can barely even see the parts right so got the tiny little parts in there I'm not even sure what size they are, it might be 0201s or something I don't know but they're actually tiny as 0402s probably but, uh, bits that big you got to solder that okay so um, there's even smaller bits down here I think these might be 0201s just there, and this they're connected there, they're absolutely tiny. All right, so I want to practice some stuff this small and uh, see if I can get any good at it or not. We'll see.